All right, so uh, I had to do a bit of wrapping today just to tidy up a, a few little areas on the car. I've still got to do the door handles and stuff and thinking about doing a window panel, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not, but um, I kind of thought while I was out here, I've been getting heaps of questions about the wrap and, you know, for those of you that saw the, the video with Hinchin, you saw how I was repositioning the film. Um, there was a lot of questions about it and a lot of the differences between some of the wraps now. I'm not a professional rapper, I've never claimed to be, I never will claim to be because the guys that do professional rapping are amazing, super skilled at something I'll never be. So I'm certainly not claiming that, but I've got a, a bit of a range of wraps here that I've used. So I just wanted to go through some of the differences and I've got one of my old uh, front quarters that I'm just gonna use for demonstration purposes. And I wanna show you kind of the differences between the different styles, the thicknesses, the finish on them. So uh, my wrap is, um, very glossy and very flat there's not a lot of orange peel to it whereas something like the avery the the old wrap was which was the brown does have a lot of orange peel to it so i kind of wanted to show you some of the differences um the six wraps i have here so this is oracle or oracle um 970 this is the green that i've wrapped my wagon in now so this is metallic fir tree green so it's a metallic gloss the brown this is avery denison gloss metallic brown um that's what the old wrap was. I have here, this is a KPMF red black iridescent. This is what Hinchy's wagon was wrapped in. So this is a metallic-y pearl kind of finish. Um, very glossy, but also, you know, a bit of orange peel in it as well. This is the red that we wrapped Aaron's uh, car in, the, the VT Burnout Club Sport. Um, this is Avery Dennison. This, oh, I can't remember what it's called, um, like red crimson or something like that. Oh, I can't exactly remember, but it's very similar to Hinchy's wrap. It just doesn't have the same uh, pearl load in it and color flip. Um, it's more of a muted version of it. Uh, and then I've got two blacks here. So I've got uh, Avery Dennison and KPMF, um, both just plain gloss black. There's no metallics in them at all. Um, off the car, they look super similar. Same amount of orange peel, same amount of gloss, same amount of depth, but once it's laid, it's, uh, it's a totally different beast. So they look totally different. One's super glossy and flat. Um, the other one has a heap of texture and orange peel to it. And the Avery Denison I find actually shows, no matter what you do, it shows scratch marks super easily. Whereas the KPMF, it's a little bit thicker and uh, it tends to recover a lot easier from, from scratches. So I'm going to show you what all the colors look like in the sun. I'll peel the backings off. I'll lay them on the panel just to give you an idea of, of what it looks like. Uh, and then I'll show you them in the sun as well. So on the panel, so you can see what the difference is. So some of you guys are going to find this interesting. Some of you won't, but that's okay. I thought I'd get through it anyway and uh, answer a few of the questions that I've seen pop up on some of the videos. Cool. Let's get into it. So in the sun, this is the So in the sun, this is the Oracle or Oracle. You can see there, super metallic y, super bright, changes very quickly, and in the shadow, goes quite dark. Uh, it is very, very glossy. There's not a lot of orange peel to it. I'm actually really, really impressed with uh, with how this has turned out. So um, that's the, the Aura Full color. This is the Avery Gloss Metallic Brown, as you can see. Also, goes very, very bright. Um, again, not sure if you can see it, but there's not a lot of orange peel to it. It is pretty flat, um, but it's very thin. So, peel this away and you can see how thin it is because you can actually kind of see through it so it is a lot thinner this is the KPMF that we wrapped in cheese wagon in so you can see there again heaves of color change Lots of metallic to it, lots of bright, lots of pearl. And again, pretty flat, a lot of orange, lot of orange peel to it. 
but very, very thick. This is probably about as thick as the, uh, the Aurifoil, if not a bit thicker. So very thick, can't see through it, and it has a black backing. So even when you stretch it out, can't really see through it compared to the Avery with the colored back. And when you stretch it, it starts to go a bit see through. Aaron's material, comparing the two, certainly not as much metallic and as much gloss but it's thinner it's the same thickness as the brown has a colored backing and again very thin and able to see through it so that's the differences you know you're getting a much better finish but it is harder to work with because it's thicker so it's a bit different there. Now, these two blacks. Instantly in the sun, you can see the difference between the two. I don't know if you can on camera. Let's brighten that up so you can see them a bit better. So instantly, two different looks. One's got a gray tinge to it, the other one's very black. Flip them over and you can tell that's the Avery Denison, that's the KPMF. It's the same thickness as Hinchy's material, very, very thick. Whereas the Avery Denison, very, very thin, very pliable, but again, becomes see through. So there is a fair bit of difference between the brands. And a lot of it comes down to thickness. Um, these two being the thickest. And the way they interact and when you lay them on a panel is also different. So I'm gonna go back into the shade so you can see a little bit better. I'll pull out the uh, quarter and we'll start wrapping. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning it or clay banging the quarter or anything like that. It's only for test purposes. And I'm just gonna run some strips down it and show you as I lay it, how it kind of works. Okay, so I've got the materials here. So, like I said, not worrying about clay bag or anything. It doesn't really matter for this purpose. Um, this is the Aurifoil, same that I've wrapped the wagon in. You can see, it's pretty thick. Um, not a lot of give to it, not a lot of stretch. Cold anyway, once it's warm, it stretches really, really nicely, but cold, not a lot of stretch to it out there. Now we can fix that off. I mean it's still a good amount of stretch but not heaps. And pretty good. Air release is good. And once it's laid, heaps of gloss. Looks really, really good. Again, I'll take it out into the sun in a second and show you. But definitely good amount of gloss on that. So we'll compare that to the brown. So this is the Avery Denison brown of the last wrap. Immediately, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is super thin and holding out to the light, you can actually see straight through it. So lots of stretch, cold. I like it. I think it's a really easy material to work with for beginners. 
if you've never wrapped anything before, Avery Dennison is definitely the go-to. Uh, that or 3M, they're, they're pretty similar in that respect. All right, laying it down. Super, super easy. But immediately, as soon as it's laid, you can see the gloss levels just aren't there. Not compared to the Oracle next to it. Right. I've overlapped it a little bit so that we can do a comparison. But immediately, like, probably double the amount of orange peel, if not more. And it's definitely nowhere near as glossy instantly. So, you know, while it looks good from far, up close, you know, it's definitely not paint-like. And no vinyl is going to be absolutely paint-like, but that's yeah, one of those things. So this is the KPMF. This is what we wrapped Hinchy's car in. And again, super thick. Super thick. Thicker than the Oracle. But gloss levels, metallic wise, you know, it's uh, it's definitely hard to beat. And I probably shouldn't be trying to bridge that gap, but it worked. Instantly, orange peel wise. If anything, there's probably more orange peel on that than there is on the Avery, which I was actually quite surprised about. I didn't think it was that bad, but looking at it, definitely a lot of orange peel going on, but there's so much metallic in it. It's so glossy. So, be interesting one to see out in the sun. This is the Avery Denison that we wrapped Aaron's car in. Probably a good comparison actually, because I don't know that we really saw it right next to each other out in the sun. Fortunately, Hinchy's car had its little accident before we got to see the two cars together. Right, so about the same amount of orange peel. Definitely not as glossy and definitely not as metallic. Uh, the pearl just, pearl low just isn't there on that one compared to the KPMF. And the KPMF is definitely more orange. That goes to more of a burgundy color. That's definitely more ready orange. Definitely has copper highlights in the pearl. So yeah, two totally different colors. Although on paper, they do look very similar. And now we've just got the two blacks. I'll just whip them on over there. So. We'll do the KPMF first. Now, it's not as thick as this KPMF. It's um, probably about as thick as the Oriful, um, but I definitely think it gives a much better black. Although, having said that, the orange peel is still very much there. I just overlapped it just so it doesn't go too far. And then this is the Avery Denison black. Again, just a normal gloss black, not metallic, not anything. But the difference, especially in the sun, is huge. So this one is super thin, super thin, super stretchy. Really good for doing um, like chrome deletes around windows and stuff because it's so pliable. But if you're doing a big panel of black, especially if you're trying to change your car to black, um, I'm not sure that I'd necessarily recommend this one. Now, super easy to apply. 
again, I'm just rushing it. I won't worry about any of this stuff. It's super easy to apply, but the orange peel is ridiculous. And yeah, I know I use that dry, but it still shouldn't scratch as bad as it has, but that's scratched instantly. Um, so we can heat some of those scratches out, but not all of them. It's actually quite interesting to see the different levels, the different gloss levels, different orange peel. It's, uh, it's kind of a little bit more different than I expected. I thought these would be a lot, lot closer. So I'm gonna put these out in the sun and uh, grab the camera and give you a bit of a show what they look like in the sun. It's a pretty good comparison, I reckon. Okay, so you can see here, this is the Orifor. This is the same color that the wagons worked in. So you can see the difference in the green. It's got a lot of blue to it in the sun. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that color, uh, especially in the sun. So uh, I might just darken it up a little bit, just so you can see. So that's how much metallic is in it. And obviously in the sun, it goes quite bright. So it can brighten that up. So the brown, this is the old wrap, uh, obviously quite dark, does go quite light, lots of metallic in it, quite good gloss levels, not fantastic, especially when it's on a flat panel, um, kind of, I don't know if it shows in the camera or not, not really, but there's a bit of, little bit of uh, orange peel to it, not heaps. The next one, the KPMF. So, Hinchy's color. Again, try and make it a bit darker so you can see. So you can see how much, just how much pearl and metallics in it. It's, uh, it's actually quite impressive. And we brighten it right up. There's lots of copper in it. And in the sun, very similar in terms of their metallic levels. So that one there is Aaron's burnout car. So instantly you can see the difference. You can see a few scratches in it. Definitely not anywhere near as uh, metallic-y. The pearl doesn't pop as much. It's still a fantastic color. I absolutely love it. But just not quite the same level. So if we darken it up, it obviously goes quite burgundy. And we can brighten it up. And sure, you can see there's definitely a lot of pearl in it. it just doesn't pop as much because it's not as thick. If it's not as thick, it can't be suspended. So being as thin as it is, yeah. And you can see across the top edge there, it does go quite dark. Now, the blacks. KPMF, Avery. Uh, I'm not sure if the scratches are being made out in the camera, but both have been scratched pretty heavily. Just from going in the sun, the KPMF is pretty much flat. The Avery still has a lot of scratches to it. And you can see, especially in the sun here, just how different the two colors are. So that's super black, and that's got a gray brownie, almost brownie tinge to it. So it's um, it's quite different. I, I didn't realize, to be honest, what the difference was. You can see as the sun goes behind a cloud, how much darker it gets. But if we brighten it up, Jeez, it goes so grey. So, yeah. So that's the colours. Still super happy with my colour choice of the green. It looks so good. Obviously, you can see there in the dark, it does go quite dark. But that metallic load, there's heaps to it. So, uh, super impressed with that. 
and the camera does actually make these look a lot glossier than they are. I mean, they're very glossy, but that almost looks like clear coat level gloss, which it most certainly is not. It's probably a pretty good indication of what the color is. So, I guess the one last thing to talk about is price. Um, these are all fairly middle of the road in terms of what they are. So, they're not a chrome, which is obviously super expensive. They're not satin chromes. Um, but matte, gloss, pearl, um, all of those kind of finishes are all roughly the same price within each company's lineup. Avery Denison is probably about the cheapest. Um, it's gone up a little bit in Australia of late. Hexus is also about the same price and it's normally around the $1,200 mark for a whole roll. Now, a roll's 22 meters. For doing a Commodore, like a VE wagon sedan, um, you're looking at about 18 meters without the roof. You could probably do it in 16 if you're really economical, but 18 is probably a better number. Um, and that's without the roof. So you know two and a half to three meters for the roof plus little bits here and there if you're doing the roof the same color as the, the car just buy a whole roll you'll have a bit left over but it saves making mistakes and depending on who you buy it from like if you buy it, uh, from GA Mart up to 18 meters is a certain price per meter and then from 18 meters to 22 meters the price actually drops down so you end up you know you're not spending that much more money to get an extra four meters uh, so the brown, I bought a whole roll. It was just simpler. Um, what you can do though is if you're not sure on the color, go and buy two meters of it. Talk to the people you're buying it from, especially if they're, uh, they've got a, a brick and mortar location. Speak to them face to face, say that you want to buy the whole roll, but you're going to buy two meters first. Test it, wrap your bonnet. You love the color and wrap the mirrors or something like that. You love the color, Go back and say you want to buy the whole roll and see if they'll give it to you for the roll price. Uh, it might be something that they'd be able to offer for you and might uh, save you a bit of money in the long run without risking buying a whole roll and not liking the colour. KPMF, the price jumps up a little bit. So uh, you're now looking at around $1,800 for a whole roll of KPMF. Um, well, that is in the iridescent, which is uh, their pearl line. Uh, it obviously is a little bit more expensive because of the technology that goes into it. The Oriful, uh, I think I paid about $1,100 for the 18 meters, so it's probably around the same price as Avery, maybe a little bit more. Um, I personally think in terms of the qualities of the material, uh, it's a better finish for the price. Installation wise, Avery is so much easier to install and anyone that you see do reviews of wraps online will say that. 3M and Avery are the easiest for a new beginner, for someone who's never wrapped before. Avery and 3M are absolutely the easiest to wrap with. The finish, obviously not as good because it's thinner material. The KPMF, the Oriful, both are thicker. Um, not quite as thick as a chrome. A chrome is probably double the thickness again, but you don't want to be working with that in a cold environment. When we did Hinchy's wrap, we did that I think it was April or May, I think it was May, in Canberra. We had heaters on in the garage, everything, and it was still too cold. And there were panels where we'd laid half, we'd pull back to try and stretch, and it would literally just tear. So it was too cold. And all of these materials in their specifications have installation temperatures. Uh, it's, it's advised that you stick to that. The brown wrap, when I did that on the wagon, I did that middle of summer between Christmas and New Year. It was 35 plus every day. I'd come out at seven o'clock in the morning, I'd wrap half a panel. By the time I got done, I couldn't go any further because it was just super thin. It was like you just heat it with a heat gun and it was super floppy and it was creases everywhere. It was just horrible to work with. So you need to follow their instructions when it comes to the temperature of wrapping. Uh, I think if I left it any later in the year to do my wrap, it would have been horrible. I think I picked the perfect time to work with this material. There were still parts that I really, really didn't enjoy working with this, but for the most part, um, 
I'm really happy with the end result. So I, I think uh, I think it speaks for itself in that respect. Um, buying overseas now. There's a couple of places you can buy from overseas that will ship to Australia. Um, their websites, you know, their pricing is really good depending on how the Australian dollar is doing. Delivery, yeah. Sometimes it makes it about the same price, sometimes it makes it more expensive. For the Oracle and for the Avery, uh, buying it from overseas and getting it shipped here costs pretty much the exact same amount. Maybe save 20, 30 bucks. No big deal, I'll rather buy it here. The KPMF, however, the iridescent, red black iridescent or any of their, their pearl lines, uh, to buy overseas, saving good couple of hundred bucks. Um, now the risk with doing that is warranty. If there's a defect in the roll, you're gonna have to pay to ship it back. There goes your profit margin or, or there goes the savings. So it's one of those risks you take. Um, again, like I'd suggest, you know, if you're not sure on a color, maybe buy two meters of it here locally, and then buy overseas if you want to. But in the end, I, I think it's good to support Australian companies. These guys are the ones that are importing it. They're, they're taking the risk. They've got their overheads, they've got their staff. Buying here just ends up, you know, even if it costs you a couple of dollars more, it's probably a better result in the end for everyone. You know, supporting our own economy. And uh, in the end, the service is always gonna be better because if there's something that goes wrong, you can always go back. Not only that, let's say you stuff up and you need an extra couple of meters. You're gonna be waiting a couple of weeks for it to get here from overseas. Or you go down to the shop, you order it, or you order it online, it gets here in a couple of days. Uh, I know Hinchy and Aaron, they've ordered from GA Mart. They're around the corner from me in Sydney. I can rock up there, pick it up, we're good to go. They're in Canberra, they ordered it, next day delivery. Charge no extra for next day delivery, but next day delivery. It's pretty hard to beat. And you've got companies like Spices uh, in Melbourne. They stock 3M stuff. Um, you know, uh, from what I've heard, they're really good at shipping as well. So it's one of those things to think about. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to wrap, you know, it ends up being your decision on which direction you go with. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them down below and I'll answer them. Or if you want to message me on Instagram or Facebook, happy to uh, answer any of the questions that you might have. But like I said, I'm not a professional rapper. There's plenty of professional shops out there. Um, most of them, you know, you're going to be probably starting at minimum three and a half thousand for a whole wrap. And that depends on material, it depends on style, it depends on how far you're going with that wrap. If you're going to do door jams, you start looking at five and above. If you're doing chrome, even more. Um, for those that saw the last eye candy raffle, that was the uh, satin chrome rose gold maloo. Uh, I think that was somewhere around the $15,000 mark. And yeah, it's a lot of money for a wrap, but it was really, really good quality. All the door jams were done. The tub was taken out and into the uh, tray was done. The tonu cover was done and the underside of it was all looked after like, you know, and chrome wrap is so just awful to work with. It's really, to be honest, I never want to do a chrome wrap. So um, yeah, shout out to all the professional rappers out there who do an amazing job. Um, will I wrap this car again? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm at the point now where it's pretty rough underneath, the body's pretty rough and it's, it's almost looking like it's gonna need a respray, so the front end, does it really go with this atomic green? I don't know. Do I want to change the colour of this atomic green? Not particularly, but, you know, it's one of those things that's a decision I have to make and uh, I'll have to think about it and see where I end up, I guess. Uh, you know, I might even respray it and then wrap over the top of that again. Not sure. Um, but that's something to think about in the next kind of couple of years and uh, see where I end up with that. Uh, but, yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's uh, It's... You know, something a little more slow paced, but hopefully uh, there's some information in there that can help you guys out. And like I said, if you've got any questions, feel free to shout out. Um, yeah, guess we'll see you in the next one.